Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and welcome to another quick tutorial where I'm going to show you a really simple, easy way to add fog to uh, to your images to kind of give them a little bit more uh, visual interest if you, uh, you kind of want to go that route. Uh, so what I have here is just a, a, an old shot that I shot of uh, and I think it would work really uh, really well with a little bit of fog here in the foreground maybe in the in the open field back here. Uh, so what you'll need is uh, the only the only image that you'll need to kind of complete this is a uh, image of the sky. So you kind of want a cloudy sky. So I have this one right here, and all I'm going to do is uh, open it in Photoshop and drag the image over to my image here. I'm just going to click yes, and uh, so now it's in there right there. And so I'm just going to hit Command T to transform it, and I'm just going to scale it up, um, even if it uh, you know, if, if it uh, pixelates the image just a little bit, really doesn't matter because uh, it's going to end up being blurred out and have some effects on it. So uh, you can see it's kind of grainy and kind of pixelated, but uh, really won't matter much. So uh, with my uh, cloud image here, I'm going to change my blending mode to uh, screen. And that will take out some of the uh, darker elements of the image and leave the lighter ones here. So you can see it right there. All right, and uh, to to kind of bring out some more of the um, the the blacks and the whites of uh, of this cloud layer here, I'm going to do a curves layer. So I'm going to click down here, and then I'm going to choose curves. And uh, the key to this part is to clip this cur curves layer to the cloud layer. The way you do that is to hold the Alt or Option key, and you can see if you click in between there. Or if you hover over in between the two layers, you have a uh, arrow with a box around it. Click there, and now whatever image, whatever changes you make to this curves layer will only affect the cloud layer and nothing else below it. So now I'm going to kind of play with the curves. I, mainly, what you want to do to try to get the best out of the uh, the cloud layer is to make a, a loop that goes like that. So you want to make a real heavy, uh, really heavy curve right here. So I'm just going to drag one point here. So you can see it already turning out a little bit better. One point down. And let's do, let's do something like that. Maybe change the black part a little bit more. Okay. So something like that. That works out pretty well. So I'm just going to take away that box. And now I'm going to desaturate the image. So I'm going to take every color that it had out of there. So I'm just going to go to um, Hue and Saturation and clip this one again so I'm going to hold alt or option click there and now that's only going to affect the cloud layer take the saturation down all the way so there we go all the colors removed and then now uh, I need to paint away some of this harsh edge right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment layer so uh, I'm going to click on the clouds layer here click this little box button down here and now I have a blank adjustment layer get my black brush make it fairly large and you want to make sure your hardness is set to zero so now I can just paint away this really harsh edge you can see the kind of effect it's very it's making it very gradual okay so that looks about good I think I'll keep that right there all right and now I want to make a uh, I'm basically going to duplicate what I just did here and make a cloud that goes in the background so I'm just going to duplicate this by dragging here. The only downside of that is it does this. It basically takes away all my clippings. So again, I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click and click. So now I can take this one and I can hit uh, Command T and just kind of shrink it up a little bit here to, uh, to make it a little smaller. I even might actually extend it a little bit to kind of distort it a little bit. You don't want it to be too perfect and, and match the pattern in this bottom cloud here. So I'm going to take that there. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing. Take my adjustment layer and with a large black brush paint away that hard edge. I'm going to paint back a little bit so I can feather just a little more. All right, and now all I got to do is make it look like it is behind the shed. So I'm just going to paint away the one, uh, the shed portion here. So right around there, I might actually lower it a little bit. So maybe right there. 
and just paint away the extra. Make it look like it's behind the shed there. Don't have to be too perfect with it because it's going to end up being faded, which is actually what we're going to do now. So I'm going to take the opacity down, just drag it down a little bit to, to fade it in there a little more. If you see any problem areas, kind of paint those away. So right there. Do the same thing with this one because you want it to be sort of a subtle, subtle effect. You don't want it to be a real dense, heavy fog. All right, so there we go. I'm liking the way that looks. Now, uh, depending on what your image, the way you edited your image, you might have to add a photo filter to sort of match the colors of the image. So this one is sort of a warmer image. So I'm going to group the cloud layers together. So I'm going to select all the, uh, the cloud layers, hit Command or Control G, and then I'm just going to name this Fog. And now I'm just going to make a photo filter. So I'm going to click down here again and choose photo filter. Clip that photo filter to that fog layer. And now I can play around with warming up the fog a little bit to kind of match the uh, the colors of the image. So if you did if you did uh, if you added added the fog in before you did your edits, then you wouldn't have to do this step. But uh, I'm adding it in after the fact, so I'm just going to. Uh, to kind of match the color a little bit. And again, if you if you have more cool uh, cool colors or cool tones in your image, then uh, you'll have to choose a cool filter uh, or any of the other ones down here. Um, if I was going for a really artistic look, that's actually kind of a neat neat effect. But I'm going to go back to uh, the warm there. All right, so uh, so this was the before, and that is the after. Just adding in a little bit of extra. Uh, a little bit of extra detail and uh, you know a little bit of creative freedom here so if basically if you have a uh, cloud layer uh, just like this or, or something similar to this uh, it, this effect should work on any cloud image that you have so uh, next time you're uh, just looking to play around in Photoshop and and uh, play around with uh, compositing and, and stuff like that give this a try it's a really cool uh, really cool effect and a way to practice some some uh, techniques in photoshop so thanks you guys for joining me for the uh, thanks again for joining me in this video i appreciate appreciate that and uh, check out picturemonk.com for a bunch of other photography stuff and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video